What's up guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. I've got another video fishing report for you for Table Rock. It is Tuesday, August 29th. Ah, last silly holiday of the, of the year coming up this weekend. Can't wait to get that past us so we can get the lake back a little bit more. Um, been fishing every day, but yesterday for the last week. Uh, bite's been good. Um, a lot of drop shotting, a lot of other stuff going on. So we'll get into that in a minute. Um, as far as our lake level, we are at 913.46, so three and a half feet below normal pool for this time of year. Um, didn't get a whole lot of rain out of this last system, what we got basically soaked in. So not a whole lot of stuff going on. The quarry is running generators every afternoon, and that does affect the bite if you guys are fishing in the afternoon or evening. Uh, water temperature had actually cooled off. I was seeing upper 80s and low 90s all last week. These last few cooler nights and cooler days have really helped to drop that water temperature down. We're down around that 86 to 87 mark, uh, pretty much all over the lake. Uh, with this weekend, though, it looks like we're going to be back in the hundreds, so chances are that's going to raise back up again. But like I said, the bite's been good. We've been <clears throat> doing a lot of reports lately. And, you know, best way to stay on top of what's going on, best way to know what's happening, best way to save a little bit of money, join Table Rock Fishing Intel as a pro member right now before we get that app launched. Once we get that app launched, the price is gonna go up and you will get all that information on a daily basis, the fishing reports, the fishing forecasts, the videos, all that stuff we put out to help you catch more fish on Table Rock Lake. But as far as the bite is concerned, drop shot bite is still key. The biggest difference this week versus the last few weeks is the gravel bite or the bite on those long gravel points is much better than it is in the trees and even on the dock cables. So most of the fish we're catching are between 22 and 32 feet deep. Really 22 to 28 is kind of the key depth. They're a little shallower first thing in the morning and they work their way out as the sun gets up shad shape, cut tail, UV drop shot worm, chompers drop shot worm. All those worms are working and we're fishing right on the bottom, fellas. I mean, keep an eye on your graph, but every once in a while you'll get some that'll rise up, but most of them are right on the bottom, glued to the bottom. We even had a few walleye today doing it with uh, fishing right on the bottom, right around 25, 28 foot deep. Drop shot bites good, but I always keep a spoon or I keep an LS spin laying on my front deck. Uh, because there are fish that'll just come out in the middle and start busting on shad. It won't be huge groups, and usually one, two, sometimes as many as four or five, but they'll push those shad up to the surface. The shad have been hanging right around that 10 to 15 foot range, and every once in a while you'll get a school of bass that'll come up underneath them and push them up and feed on them. So if you've got a spoon or something you can reach those fish with, really key right now for catching those, catching those fish out there while you're drop shotting, really drop shot up, set it down, grab a spoon, grab a scuba spoon or grab the LS spin and throw that out there. That's been a good pattern. The dragging bite with these fish moving up on the gravel and being as shallow as 18 feet deep, the dragging bite with a jewel, either Peewee HD football jig or the heavy cover football jig or a Carolina rig or Texas rig worm, that dragging bite all over the lake is really turned on. You're not getting a ton of bites, but it seems like we're catching some better largemouth and some better smallmouth up there in that, I'm gonna say 15 to 20 foot range. It really seems to be where the better bite is on those. If you get up the rivers, especially early or late, or when they're running current, you'll find those fish up even a little bit shallower. As shallow as 10 foot deep, or if there's a brush pile up there in that 10 to 15 foot range, there's been a lot of decent largemouth caught out of those deeper brush piles. Speaking about up the river, the deep crankbait bite has been strong up the James, up Long Creek, and uh, up, up the Kings River. Most of those fish are coming on those roll-offs or coming on those ledge banks where you've got about 10 foot deep and it drops real hard, or even 15 foot deep and it drops real hard. 6XD, um, DD22, whatever you like to throw as a deep crankbait, DT16, whatever it may be. A lot of fish come and doing that, especially again, when they're running current. If you're out there in the afternoon or the evening when they've got current running, you can certainly catch quite a few on a deep crankbait. The shallow bite has been good, but kind of inconsistent. We still have a bluegill spawn going on, but it's not going on in every cove. So you almost have to visually get up there and see if the bluegill are up there shallow. If they are, 
We have been catching them on a whopper plopper up there, a buzz bait up there, a shallow crank bait up there, any of those bluegill mimicking baits. We've been catching them especially early up there, dirt shallow. I mean, ankle to knee deep water. You've got fish up there pushing those bluegill around. So keep that in mind as well if you're going up. Guys, the bite's been, been good for it being the end of August. Uh, we are catching quite a few fish. A lot of fish being caught a lot of different ways. If you want to fish shallow, you can catch them shallow. You want to drag, you can do that. You can catch them on a drop shot rig out deep. But the bite has really improved in the last week. Uh, best way to know, best way to stay on top of them, of course, join Table Rock Fishing Intel and become a pro member. As a pro member, you get all the benefits we've got to offer. You get all the daily reports. You get the weekly reports, you get all the videos, you get all that information that we put out to help you catch more fish. And again, like I said, when the app becomes available, probably beginning of October, once we get everything settled with the Apple Store, you're not going to have to pay the extra fee to get the app. That's going to be the $45 you pay right now. We'll cover your membership both on the website and on the app, and you'll pay $45 as long as you're a member. You'll never have to pay the increased price to cover the app fees. But if you're coming down and want to hire a guide, give me a call. It's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website, focusfishing.com. You can either shoot me an email or book online. Either way, I get back to you as soon as I can. Guys, thanks for watching the video again. Check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so. But thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.